Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are going to go and do a run on greed mode as Tainted or Tarnished, should I say, Judas. Because that seems like a lot of fun. And we're going to give it a go and try it out. Because um, yeah, it seems like a, a decent one. I'm probably not going to use the Descent all too much, to be honest. Um, pretty good shop so far. Probably go with the, uh, the piercing here. Um... But yeah, um, probably not going to use the Descent too much, but his clones are going to be pretty useful. Also, Raw Liver early on is pretty nice. I forgot this guy doesn't start with... Um, he starts with Red Hearts, not just Black Hearts. I kind of forgot about that. Um, I, I don't think we can use Descent to get into our item room easily, can we? Uh, not item room. Um, you know what I mean. Cash room. You can't use the Descent to get into Cash room, can you? Maybe you can? I can't remember. I'm going to have to try it, but I can't, I genuinely can't remember all of the, these bloody bouncy tail shots are pissing me off. Also, this B wave is just generally very annoying. Either way, for today's question of the day, what's, what's like your most consumed piece of media? And by that, I don't mean like what TV show do you watch the most? I mean like a single episode or video. What is your most consumed thing? Like what, what is something that that you have just watched a ton. For me, I think it'd have to be like su the film Superbad or like a few particular episodes of Peep Show that I've probably seen well over 20 times. Uh, there's a few YouTube videos that I do go back to on a regular basis. Um, as a, as a, like not as a single video, but as a series, um, I tend to go back and watch um, Sips plays Skyrim quite a lot. That's a pretty old series nowadays, but God damn, is that, like, my favourite Skyrim series to ever release. Sips is just a really funny guy anyways, and it's just the editing and the comedy in it is just absolutely perfect. It's so funny. If any of you do enjoy Skyrim and want to see a vanilla um, Skyrim playthrough that's pretty damn funny and has some really good editing, I would go and take a take a check of that series because I, I thoroughly enjoy it. And I, 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 I probably go back to it, at, like, once every year or so and watch it through again because it's just... I don't know. I think I think it's definitely got a bit of nostalgia factor to it for me. It's not like just purely because it's good, but I still think it is really good regardless. Oh, dude, we get the heal spare. If we can manage to get that, that'd be great. Dude, didn't we get this last time we were playing as this character? Pretty good stuff, right? Let me check. Can I descend? Oh, you can. Nice. Okay, I kind of forgot about that. I'm going to take these pills just because there's so many of them. Bombs are key. Doesn't do anything. Look down, don't care. Tears down. I'm very sad about that. Very sad indeed. Okay, that's pretty good to know that we can use that for that. Right. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to end up getting any... Um, getting any, like, getting enough money to, to, to grab the heal spare, but the heal spare is such an insanely overpowered item. I would, I would love to grab it. Oh, God. Okay, the knockback here is pretty good. The lower his HP gets, the more knockback we'll deal as well, so that's always good. In fact, we deal so much already from the bonus we get. I, I think piercing is definitely adding to, to it. We get so much already that he can't, he physically can't charge us. We just knock him straight back. Yeah, I think piercing has something to do with how much knockback we're dealing right now. Do you know what? I've just thought, if I could not kill the haunts, then I can just kill this guy. Honestly, my damage right now is absolutely pathetic. Um... Like, I've, I've accidentally hit that ghost about a thousand times, and he's just not dying. And then, like, Dingle here is also just taking an inordinate amount of damage before he goes down, too. Slightly upsetting. Like, I just can't. Also, the little haunts, I was going to try and keep them alive, but god damn are they just so frustrating to deal with. But yeah, this is just abhorrently awful damage. Like, this guy has no DPS to start with. I didn't really catch on to that in my first run as him. Maybe I got a damage up early on. But this is taking forever. Even these little ghosts. I mean, the knockback really isn't helping right now because I keep just knocking them all over the place. Okay, 
Get back, heathen. Oh, I got hit, God damn it. Got hit again. Honestly, I'm kind of glad for, like, getting rid of that black heart there, because it dealt a bit of much-needed damage. Oh, dude. It's kind of interesting. Can I, like, just keep you over there, even if you ch ch charge me? Oh, yeah, I can. Even if you charge me, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's pretty useful. Keep you going on over there. We only need two pennies. Is there any way we could get two extra pennies here? Also, remember, devil deals with this character are a bit better because um, with this guy, the devil deals are actually going to give us broken hearts and not cost any HP. And that, of course, means for us that we can... Um, we can take a few extras and they actually allow us to um, grab a few more clones of ourselves. Which I quite like. This guy is jumping around like a maniac a bit too much for me. I like the way we can push him like right as he hits the peak of his jump. Kind of leads to some wacky results. Oh, I was about to say, I'm going to get hit there. Little bit, little bit sad. Oh, oh, that spider, that spider like snuck around me. Right, so what do we get here? Ooh, okay, we got some good stuff. Um, first of all, get rid of this hand that I wasn't expecting to be one of those types of hands. First of all, we're going to take this, which does give us three broken hearts too. So we're already a, a very large amount of broken hearts. And then, honestly, I'm going to take this as well to get us to the next stage. I think that puts us at the be like the next stage, right? Um, I could gamble and do this and get to yeah. We, we've gone we've gone crazy here, little Abaddon. We've gone crazy here, and it may not be the right choice, but I'm intrigued. And unfortunately, I'm just going to buy the key. And get the hell out of here. But that was a, a very good first floor. And this could spell trouble for me. But I'm willing to give it a go. Can't even take the soul heart. I'm willing to gamble hard here. We have become truly dark. Um, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Gives us that fire rate back. Now, I wonder if all of my shots are going to apply the wraith effect. Because if they do... Oh, they do. I was about to say, if they do, this is going to be really good. It's really good. Because the wraith effect is low damage, but very uh, very strong homing. Um, on the particular enemy that you hit. Um, and as you can clearly see, it's... Good damage and good knockback all around. And with the piercing, it makes it so much better. Like, I basically need to hit an enemy once and they will die. This is fun. I have created something quite, quite incredible here. I love the way that the, uh, they, like, leave our body. The way that they kind of, like, spiral around. I, I'm not sure if it's bugged in the when it when it pierces an enemy it creates a tier for every frame it's above the enemy because it seems to be creating more tiers sometimes than it should which I very much like but is also kind of wacky so why is the music so slowed down do we have something that's slowing stuff maybe we do Like, you see now, like, okay, there you go. Then it creates a bunch. Strange. God damn, the music's so slowing down. What is going on with the music? Am I just lagging really bad? <laughs> Maybe I'm just lagging really bad. Uh, lots of money, which is good. Uh, lump of coal seems like it could be incredible with the setup. And I will take that as well. Trinket, machines may spawn, um, eh, that's not very good. Half a turn hearts become four turn hearts, that's also not very good. Holy hell. Okay, Lump of Coal has improved our damage by quite quite a bit. 
I doubt I'll be taking anything from here, but I'll check it regardless. No, 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 no. Well, isn't this something? We've created something quite unique here. Lump of coal really breaks things here because the, the tears that fire out of us aren't meant to be able to have that sort of damage. Oh, I should have just used the descent to uh, to just quickly grab a key there. I didn't even think about that. Whoopsies. I spent on, on what something I shouldn't have, really. Okay, let's uh, use a bomb over here. I would very much like to get the ghost pepper because I think... As someone pointed out in a previous episode, every single one of our clones has the chance to fire uh, um, one of the fires. The, the difference is that um, the fires only come out of our body. Okay, so I'll save up some money for that. Let's check what we're going on, what's going on in our item rooms. A tail D10. I'm just going to pick up because it won't bloody leave me alone. Two random glass dice that start and a penny. The penny's decent. Honestly, I'm just gonna pop this. That that isn't temperance machine. That isn't what I wanted. I forgot that they did that in greed mode. Oh yes, sir. Uh, there was an enemy under me at some point there. I think. I can boogie. But yeah, the, the Wraith shots obviously di weren't accounting for Lump of Coal. And Lump of Coal makes their damage crazy regardless, so... And because of the way that they travel, in the way that they kind of like loop around me, they're getting extra travel time. Therefore making Lump of Coal even better. This is something quite special, to be honest. is really something quite special. Oh my god. There you go, you're taken care of. As are you, my lovely. As are you. The horseman. I'm fine, thanks. I keep checking these, knowing that, like, they're pretty useless for me. Right, lots of money, so we definitely want that. I guess I'll take this. I was going to say, mainly to see what's underneath it. Chaos is pretty fun. We'll take that. Right, I think we get going. Yeah, this is this is a really crazy run now. <laughs> I am a little scared, I'll be honest. I'm just gonna bomb these. I, I know I can teleport over, but it's easy if I just bomb them. Star of the Bottomless Pit converts all blue flies into locusts. Chance to spawn a blue fly on killing enemies. Considering I already have an item that does that. Also, this item got resprited, and I have to say, I, I I kind of liked the sprite it used to have. Um, but this is gonna be really wild. What does this do? Spawns a burn heart. When you would take fatal damage, all red heart containers are converted into empty burn hearts. That's actually pretty good. Void bombs. Oh, we still forgot to replace the goddamn blue fires. I apologize. I'll definitely take a spin down shard. The, the glass D6 doesn't matter too much. Ooh. Do I? Do I want quad shot? I think so. Yeah, we're firing a lot of fires right now. Like I said, they only come out of us, but each individual um, clone has its own separate chance of firing. That's why we're firing so many of them at minus one luck. Oh, lordy lord. This run is so insane. The only problem with this run is... I just can't take a lot of damage at all, can I? Like, the boss is genuinely going to be kind of difficult. Right. The blue fires should help, though. Because obviously the blue fires will make it so we can block some shots here and there. Yeah. 
Good, good, good. Right. With Chaos, things are going to get pretty wacky in here. So we'll definitely take Quad Shot. That seems fun. Azazel's Horn. Um, Black Hearts trigger their on depletion effect when only partially depleted. Don't care too much for that. Let's do some re-rolling here. Crown of Light is pretty darn good. We should probably take that, considering we're not planning on taking damage. The knockback is helping with this guy. Wasn't expecting you, but there you go. We've been bested. Ooh, we did get perfection here, which is... Probably a pretty good idea as well. And we go and take Crown of Light here. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Our damage is absolutely ludicrous here. Just waiting for his death animation. We got we got an angel deal. It's the Eraser, which I don't care for. I can't remember if entering into an Angel Deal removes a Broken Heart or not, like when we go to the next floor. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But all the extra luck that we just got, up to nine luck, should help produce even more fires here. Right. Shall we be going, then? We shall, we shall. Again, we can't actually donate anything here because we're a modded character, but that's fine. Molten Dime's pretty fun, but not really what we want right now. Still, the music is all sorts of box. Really don't know why it's so slow-mo. I must have an item that's doing it, but I don't know what it is. The Red Skulls are blinking. Oh my god. Like, some of these waves, I'm just not even seeing the enemy. Beautiful. Some gishy boys. Like, every shot fires a fire at this point. Pretty much every shot. Right, that's that done. You're dead. Even the fires are just like insta-killing at this point. Good, good. Finish this off. And hello, you. Step into my fiery abode. Another angel deal. That did remove a broken heart, which I don't think... Okay, I don't think that removed any clones. It doesn't seem to have removed any clones. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think we need them regardless. But I just wanted more shots, because inner eye plus quad shots kind of fun. Um, I think we go for rerolls here just because of the potential of chaos giving us something crazy. Rerolls are unfortunately not on our side today and are costing a lot of money for some reason. Yes, more knockback and the damage that comes with it too. Right, we are out of here once again. Some cell boys. This has really been something crazy. Be careful for these guys because they're going to be doing the whole laser beamy things. Some of these, sometimes the enemies just die before like the, like we even do anything. There's a lingering shot grabs them. Super flies, boy. Oh, this is a bit of a weird wave. 
<laughs> Just look how many shots we fire in one shot. Actually insane. I like the way these guys look with the respray. They've got like a slight glow to their, like a, a shine, a shimmer to their eyes. These guys were annoying. Don't know what you are. We don't have to find out. Oh, look at that. Got accidentally clapped by the lingering shots that had had their full lump of coal amount of time to progress and evolve. Same again there. I, like, with this amount of damage, we might be able to, like, break DPS cap on the boss. We've got two Gutso boys. <clears throat> it does get a little laggy, but we accept it for what it is. If it's an Angel deal again, I don't think we can take the item, otherwise I think we do lose our clones at that point. I think it will be an angel deal again. Oh, we get devil or angel. That is a damage up, but it would put us on only two hearts. Gamble. I want the damage. Right, what we got here? Ooh, okay, Guppy's Collar is a must buy because we, we need a b ability to potentially come back. And then we bomb this for the potential of one last good item. I think Wicked Soul is potentially that good item. Okay. Let's get gone. This could go really bad, but I'm thinking with that FOP item, as well as with Guppy's Collar, we have a decent chance of survival. Oh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I gotta say, the stream of tears hasn't even hit yet. It's just knocking him back so much as well. Like, he's just stuck in the corner. Like, the... See, you can see how much damage I'm doing right now, but you've got to also consider that the game is running at, like, 15 FPS right now, which means that if this was... The game should be running four times faster. So just think at how crazy fast we're killing him right now. Lump of coal is just exacerbating that damage as well. Right, stay in the corner, you. Very hard to hit him. Well, that has to be one of the quickest kills I've ever had on this guy. And that was just a joyful run. What broken synergies we have found on this day. So broken. So broken. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.